automation as well. Well, industry, ours in specific, you know, we're dealing with metals, with chemicals, we weld, uh, we stamp, we form. This is a 150 ton press. So imagine what it can do to the frail human body. So yes, some of our jobs are dangerous. Yet we do have light curtains to prevent injuries. We have our safety gear, goggles, though I'm not wearing one at the time. We do have goggles and earplugs and safety equipment. But the risk is always there, especially after an eight hour shift, a 10 hour shift, a 12 hour shift. So the human body can do anything, but there comes a time when even the human body can't do so much. And I think automation is starting to solve some of those problems. The key, putting the robot in danger as opposed to a human. I prefer for my guys to move product around, pack product. This also will deal with our future. We're not eliminating jobs, no. We're just repurposing how the jobs are done. What's more, what is a bit more dangerous, what is a bit more strenuous, let a robot do it. You know, let my guys handle jobs that are a little less dangerous, but just as productive. I'm gonna give them their eight hours, they're gonna get their benefits. This isn't taking away from the human. This is just amplifying what we can do as a company. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to MTD CNC USA. Whatever you're doing, stop doing and watch this video. I have one incredible story to tell you. As you can see, I'm with my buddy Jose. We're both kind of sweaty. We're in a place where this is a hundred year old company running old school press machines. But if you look closely behind me, you can see a robot. This is a story I've been wanting to share for a long time and I'm so grateful for Polar Hardware allowing MTD to come in and for Jose to share this story. Because to me, this is everything we've been trying to convey about automation. And then the partnership with a buddy of ours, Misa, who has allowed you to kind of take the stress of investing with an automation company, but investing with Formec to do a lot of that for you, which we'll go into in detail. But guys, this is the story that you want to hear. A hundred year old company, Jose, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Well, thank you for coming out today. We're excited to share our story. Well, let's get into it, my friend. When we were talking, man, you just have so much great stuff here. You have 80-year-old guys that have been here for so long. Your biggest competition has been China, as you said. So how do you get better and compete and put more products out? It's obviously automation. You yourself said, I've been here five years, and it's been five years of me trying to get into automation. So let's firstly talk about what you guys do here and the importance you feel like it is to get into that automation. Well, here at Polar Hardware, we make heavy-duty truck hardware. We make quality made-in-USA products, and we're very proud of what we do. We have a lot of repeat business. We have a lot of companies like Amazon, Stell, Morgan. They rely on our parts, and we've been very fortunate to supply them. One of the issues that we have, much like every other company, is keeping up with that demand. And as you see through our presses, we are old school. We have presses that a man takes a piece, puts it in, presses a button, piece comes out. A lot of processes, a lot goes into making just one simple part. And that's our problem. We can't keep up, and I think businesses throughout the U.S. have the same problem. Keeping up with that demand, more so these past few years. Being that you've been here five years, and you mentioned to me that since I got here, I've been trying to get automation, because a human used to be here, right? Yes, yes. Now we got a partnership with Formic and with Misa. And Formic, I'll let you explain it, but what was that like when, that, when you came across Formic, and what did they do for you? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly, my eyes opened up wide. It was the realization of a dream. I have been here five years. I come from a company that began to automate, and I saw the benefits. When I started here as a plant manager, it was to help run the company. But I noticed how we do things. Everything is by hand. 
there's tons of rooms for improvement. So I knew it was a goal that I wanted. I had gone to trade shows. I had seen these robots in action. I knew I needed them. But it was the convincing my employers. If Polar didn't automate, Polar was going to be out of business. We cannot compete if we're not able to produce. And with the challenges throughout the past couple of years, not only COVID, which disrupted so much, but prices, material costs, our competitor, China, which makes a cheap copy. Those are the issues that we had to deal with. So when I knew I needed a robot, but I couldn't find the money for it, Misa came with the solution. Hey, I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna invest in this robot, in this magazine, in this product, so that you have a robot. And then we can talk about our future. And I cannot, I say it every day, OMG. <laughs> OMG, we have a robot. Because what you see in front of you right now is five years in the making. And this is the beginning of what will be our floor. I have no reason to doubt that I can't put a robot in front of every single press and produce. This to me is the exact story that people need to hear and I'll tell you why. And you may already know already, but sitting with Jose and listening to him talk, I mean, let's be honest guys. I'm looking around, I'm seeing presses everywhere. Talking with you, we're talking a 100 year old company. It's not always easy when you have a company that's been around that long and whether it's the bean counters or the old school mindset to convince everyone, guys, it's gonna be equal quality, it's gonna make us more money, it can run when you choose to, you're still working on it fairly new, but when you choose to, 24 hours a day, but working with something, someone like Misa, kinda takes a lot of that guesswork out and allows someone who has previously been somewhat against it, whether it's for financial reasons or just a different mindset, to go, okay, fine. We'll give it a go. I'll give it a go, Jose, because I trust you, and I believe in what you say, but let's prove it. And they take all that that, that fear out of it, which is exactly what some people need. Well, I, I think fear is the best way to describe it. The fear of change. Can we do this? That's why we haven't invested before. It needed to be proven, but it's proven already. And through this one example, two funny stories. When my owner, 93-year-old Mr. Albert, saw the robot, he was like, what's that for? Because he couldn't understand what it can do. And that's where Formic and his team came. We're going to show you what this thing can do. And in the middle of setting it up, it hadn't even made a part yet. I have already have approval for two more robots. When you started working with Formic, it wasn't just about the robot, right? It was a little bit about what was going on here as well in this trade. They created all of this for you. And you told me these places here can shift back and forth for different size parts. So it wasn't just they came in with the robot. They implemented an entire system for you. Well, not only that, we've got small things I'm not sure if you can see, but we have an automatic safety block before that was done by a man. Formic came and designed it to automate it. Just that saved us time. Even if we didn't have a robot, that little safety block just saved us time and money. Yeah. On top of that, now they've designed a cart that will handle all of our size of bars. So we have a 36, a 24, an 18, a 12, using the same cart. So not only can we use the robot, but the feeding equipment to do various jobs. This robot right here, I anticipate, will easily make within the first year, maybe 100, 200,000 handles. And we're only talking about three, four months. That is, as a manufacturing manager, there's nothing more can, I can say. A machine is going to make 100,000 parts, good quality parts. This is somewhat new. It's something you've wanted for a long time. 
but it's also something that we're talking 80 years old, 60 years old. You have an older generation here and some young folks too, so right, let's right. not leave them out. But overall, how comfortable is everyone with this setup as a whole? Most people are just dropping parts in here now, right? Right, right. Well, here, let's, on the personal side, it's some people may fear automation myths. Oh, that's going to take my job. No, my 80-year-old operator who's right next to us is working with the robot. For him, he can say, I work with UR robots. I have experience of working with machines. And here at Polar, we're not eliminating jobs. More products means I need more packed. I need more shipped. I need more material handlers. So all of my guys here, not one job is going to be lost. Not one. Every person here is going to have a job packing, manufacturing, moving material. And then in time, when that person decides, hey, I put in a good 30, 40 years here at Polar, they can retire with, with comfort, with all their digits, knowing that, hey, I put in a good job and I got great training. And let's say they don't stay with our company, of which we have great retention, if you move from this job, you can go to your next employer and say, I know how to use a UR robot. Well, Jose, your passion is infectious. <laughs> and I love supporting US companies. So thank you for allowing MTD to come in and share your story. For the global audience out there, I guarantee you there's some people going, man, that, that Jose, I want to <laughs> talk with him. How do I get in touch with Polar Hardware? Are there websites, socials, anything that you can give out where people can reach you? Well, if you'd like to reach us uh, here in Chicago, 773-935-8600, or you can reach us online, polarmfg.net. You can see all of our parts, call our sales team, get yourself some nice products. That was your personal cell number, right? No, that's the, <laughs> <laughs> Just that's the office. Jose, you are amazing. I do appreciate your time. Thank Tony. you so much. I hope you guys learned as much as I did from Jose. You are incredible. Thank you, Tony.